and welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of Interest for today, Tuesday, the 29th of November. Hope you're all well. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here for your daily look at what's happening in markets right now. Let's look across the news wise, see what's come across over the last few hours. Of course, we had a weaker session on Wall Street overnight as the COVID situation in China escalates and creates supply concerns globally. US markets essentially technically have pulled back from key levels. It is a big data week ahead, so perhaps there's a little bit of caution. We've got some big jobs data and some PCE data or inflation data coming out of the US. US futures are near neutral in the early Asian action. We can see them just sneak into positive territory over the last hour or so. Uh, we are mixed now with the Asian indices. We're seeing the ASX just trading above neutral. And European equity futures are suggesting a weaker open later. And notice that everything is off its lows at this stage, and that's encouraging, I guess. Uh, US dollar index is around about neutral in Asia, perhaps a little to the downside. Uh, that and the yen are struggling a little bit today, but it is holding its 200 EMA. But FX markets are very, very flat in the Asian session so far. Gold was lower again yesterday, fell below 1750 and the 200 EMA, but is slightly higher in trading today. All tested year to date lows, but recovered overnight. And looks as though there could be a bit of buying coming into it today on the back of what was a very long tail candle yesterday. Copper's found short term support around 360 uh, and looks again as though uh, we may see some buying coming into it, although some of that could be short covering. And the VIX rose again yesterday, it's still near three month lows and pretty neutral today in Asian trading. Bitcoin weakens again and really remains something possibly to stay clear of, to be honest, it is drifting downward. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any clear direction in this at all as markets take a breath and process the daily headlines that seem to be coming across the news wires relating to cryptos. The China COVID situation will be in focus. Obviously, the protests there have made global news. Uh, but as well as that, of course, there is the impact on the industrial production side of things which could impact on exports, but also imports as well, as they won't need our stuff that we dig out the ground uh, to make things with. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why material sector in Australia is looking a little weak over the last few days. Uh, European consumer confidence data is out later, along with German CPI, which is an important number. Later on, we've got Canadian GDP and US housing data, the highlights. As we said before, Markets are going to have half an eye on US jobs and the PCE data later in the week. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are still liking Megaport, ticker code MP1. You can see it's had three days now where we've tested this 665 level and it's having another pop today. It is trading towards the highs of the session, so it'd be worthwhile seeing where this ends up. Anything over 670 would have us very interested in this. We think the upside potential on this is substantial. As we said, we're really struggling to find a clear FX trade, but we are noticing a little bit of strength coming into the Aussie in the Kiwi this morning. We've got the Aussie Swiss franc here, and you can see there, there is a clear line of resistance at around about this 63.36 level, around about 10 pips from where we are now. Should we get a breach of this, then we could potentially in the medium term throughout the day see a move up around about 30 pips. That looks like the pretty standard sort of move that's on the table at the moment. But we like the Aussie Swissy, and as I said, maybe the Aussie crosses and Kiwi crosses are where to focus your attention for right now. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.